What's good, my Houston Eaters? It's your boy, Cola Cole. Welcome to Houston Eats. Be back one more again, man. Hey, check this out, man. This video is because one of my subscribers put in a request to try some Filipino restaurants in Houston, Texas, all right? So, because of you, I'm gonna check out this spot called The Best of Filipiniana 2. The actual name is going obviously gonna be on your screen right here so you can see how it's spelled and how to pronounce it. My first language isn't, um, that of the Philippine, the, the Filipino people. So I apologize. I'm not, I'm not saying it right. However, the, um, that being said, they was nice enough to hook me up with some delectable Filipino cuisine. So I'm gonna be trying that today and letting y'all know what it's hitting on. All right. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and make sure you boom hit that subscribe button, boom hit that like button. That way you can be on up on top of game when it comes to more content coming out on this channel, and you know what's popping and what's dropping here in the Houston area in terms of good food. All right. But we ain't gonna over talk this thing, man. Let's get into the food, all right? As always, I gotta stay in my bag, fam. Just like you gotta stay in your bag, fam. Yeah. Well, that thing's stupid dumb heavy, too. Hey, let me tell you a little bit what we got. I basically got two combo meals, right? Um, that way, because I wanted to make sure that y'all was able to, you know, get a good idea of the cuisine, all right? So each combo plate is like 10.50 a plate. Okay, it's labeled as, um, used to be a buffet, but I guess for the time being, they just have combo plates. You show up to the spot, they got everything lined up, you pick up, boom, 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 I want that, boom, boom, boom. They serve you up, and you're on your merry way. Or you can dine in, it's your choice. But you know me, I keep it in the streets, man. So, hey, I go up to the spot, get my order, and bring it back to the coffee yard, all right? So, first combo meal, right, is some garlic rice, some adobo, it's chicken adobo. Man, I'm excited about that, chicken adobo, and pork menudo, all right? So that's that's gonna be the first plate. And then the second um, plate is a plate of garlic rice as well, pork estapado, the sisig, which is basically chopped pork belly and, and you know, and pork ears or whatever, so, and, and some various uh, peppers and other ingredients or whatever. It's, it it looked pretty good, it looked pretty good, so I'm gonna let y'all know what it's hitting on. And then um, I got a side of some uh, called mango beans, because I guess everything would fit in the plates, so they gave me some mango beans. And also, I got this nice little dessert. I forgot. I, it's like sweet rice. It's like uh, I'm, they just told me the name. I'm so sorry. I can't remember the name of, it, but it's it's basically like a it's a type of rice that is uh, I, forgot what, I, forgot, I forgot, man. But it come. I'm, I'm gonna show y'all in the video. You got sugar and sesame seeds. I think coconut shavings. And you just basically take that sugar, sprinkle it all around that rice, and it, and it becomes a nice little uh, dessert. So I'ma let y'all know what that's hitting on. But without further ado, I keep saying without further ado tonight, it's just, there's, there's more ado. But yeah, like I said, each plate was 1050 and combined together, you know what I mean, with at the taxes, you came out to $22.73. So, and like I said, this is supposed to be for two people, but I'm just gonna be showing y'all, you know, what it's like. That price will be for two people, if it's, but I'm just showing y'all so y'all have more variety of what I can show y'all on camera. I got two different plates and it came out to like 22. That's not bad for what we got. Without further ado, finally, let's get into it. Woo. All right. Check this out. Yeah. So, all right, so this right here is the sisig. Telling you about, this is the pork estapado. And then this is some of that uh, garlic rice with the uh, estapado sauce on top. All right. Mm. All right, so that's gonna be the one. All right, let's take a look at the other one. Okay. And this, ooh, it's the garlic rice with the chicken adobo, as you can see. And this is the pork menudo. And that thing, stupid, dumb, greasy, heavy, too. So, hey, check this out. I'm gonna need some reinforcements. Napkins right here. All right. So, let's go ahead and taste some of this garlic rice. This is the garlic rice with chicken adobo for our seasons or whatnot infused, pour it over it, all right? This taste. Mmm. Okay. Go brown. You either got a choice of white rice and garlic rice. Y'all know me, I ain't doing no white, no plain white rice. I need a little some flavor, that flavor. Nice garlic, um, pronounced flavor, well seasoned. Not over seasoned, not too many different seasons I taste. Strong pronounced, um, not overpowering. 
a very uh, present garlic taste with a nice little hint of salt. It's good. So I believe this is the uh, pork menudo. Let's get that a taste. All right. This stuff is freaking amazing, dude. Pork menudo, really? I've been seeing about, you know, I've been hearing about it, you know, here, you know, but I never just really, I thought it was Mexican food or something. I didn't know that it was Filipino menudo, uh, or is it, or is it both? I don't know, I don't know. Maybe one culture inspired the other, I don't know, but I know this right here, fam. Oh man, that is a, that's freaking delicious, man. Listen, I did a few videos that I took on my channel on a place called Jollibee. Jollibee is like my first introduction to Filipino cuisine. So it's like fast food Filipino cuisine. And they had something called adobo on there. I wouldn't, you know, I, I, I don't know if I was crazy about it. It wasn't terrible, but it just, it just wasn't what my concept of adobo previously was. You know, I'm familiar with the powder adobo, the seasoning. But this right here, you know, first of all, the, the, the pork menudo just blew my mind. So I'm like, well, maybe this uh, chicken adobo is gonna blow my mind as well. It's gonna be totally different from what I had at Jollibee. I thought I had Filipino, I thought I knew what Filipino cuisine tastes like based off of Jollibee. I'm beginning to think I was mistaken because this right here is leagues. It's like totally different experience. It's a nice restaurant on, 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 on the side. You wouldn't expect, you just think, oh, okay, it's a, it's a little uh, little strip mall, you know, type situation, restaurant. Go on there, oh, I would not know that this gym was in here. Let's move on to that chicken adobo I was telling you about. Ooh, look at that. And it's falling off the bone, too. I want y'all to see. Ew, it gooey, it drippy. I ain't gonna use the fork for this. I'm just gonna manhandle this. Let's taste. Mmm, mm. they're killing me, fam. I don't know if I can tell with the pork menudo. Well seasoned, got a sweet little hint to it. With the chicken adobo, savory as well, but I can taste like the vinegary, vinegary like um, acidic notes to it. Different kind of vinaigrette, they actually tenderize that meat and add that extra depth of flavor and complexity. Oh man, they busting it out the pork right now. Okay, I'm, I might can't um, speak the natural, uh, the, the, the natural language. The one language I can speak is food. And right now, mm, I, I like what I'm hearing right now. So let's move on to the next one. All right. Ooh. Yeah, that's that, uh, that pork estapado and that sijig and some more garlic rice. Since we done had the garlic rice already, we can forego that and let's go to this uh, pork escapado. All right. Look at that, ooh, look at that, I'm saying, I'm gonna get this little fatty hunk. Look at that, look at that, look at that fat, a little hunk of fat meat. Oh, oh no! Oh, thank God, look at that little napkin. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and taste it. I think this is pork belly or something. Yo! I ain't gonna lie, I was being brave. I took my fork, stuck a little hunk of meat, and I saw that big fat cap. Now I, I, now I love fat, but there is such thing as too much fat. So when I saw that big hunk of fat and a little bit of piece of meat, I was like, man, what, what am I getting into? Bam. It's like meat candy, yo. You would see, if you saw this much fat or anything else, you'd be, you'd be like terrified. Like, and I'm somebody who like a lot of fat. But I was even know, like, oh shoot, bam. The flavor, the flavor, it's like a sweetness. It's like a savory, sweet element. I'm not sure what they season it with. Oh, and the bay leaf, and it's, oh man. They, they breaking my heart right now because I should have been coming here. I should have been coming here, man. Pork menudo. Pork estapado, crushing the game. Chicken adobo, crushing the game. Let's see what's up with this sisig. 
which is I guess basically pork belly, chopped up pork belly, and pork ears and like onions and pep peppers, not bell peppers, but different kind of peppers and stuff. It's a sissy. Let's taste. Mm. Oh. Mmm. Okay. Good in a mug. Distinctly different. It's like a more of a not bitter. A little bit of sour notes, acidic notes, savory. Mmm. Got some herbs up in there too. Oh man. Got the onions and peppers, you know, the pork ear and the pork ear and the pork belly. Bam. I never had pork ear before, but I guess I like. I told you I like what I'm hearing. <laughs> I speak food. Yo, this is, this is, this is amazing, man. Oh my God. Filipino food. How come I, how come Filipino food is not more popular here? I mean, I'm not sure it's unpopular, but I don't hear a whole lot about it. You know, you hear about the Chinese, the Japanese, the sushi and all that, you know, Korean barbecue. I love some Korean barbecue. No, hear much about Filipino food, but this is amazing. How is, how have I not heard about this? I, I'm, I'm just, into my hair, I have some food as delicious as this. I'm baffled that I am in my 30s, almost 40, and I have not tasted something like this before. Mind boggling. Hey, man, you learn something new every day. You keep living, you're going you're gonna to find out something, uh, find out something new and expected. New and unexpected. So, this is what they call some mango beans. Mango beans, fam. Mmm. I ain't gonna lie. I've been I've been pleased all you know this whole this this whole experience has been pleasing. I'm a little worried about it. I don't know how I gonna how I'm gonna feel about it, but I'm gonna try it anyway. This is Filipiana's Filipiana twos mango beans. Mango beans. Ooh, okay. I got some you see the onions or cabbage. I think this is cabbage and the beans. Oh. It's, it's not, it's not uh, procrastinate this thing. Let's taste. Mm. Off rip. Get the taste of the beans. The creaminess of it. A strong taste of celery. Not overpowering. Very delicious. I love celery. I remember being in um, elementary school. First time I had raw celery, peanut butter, and some raisins called ants in the log. That's not fine now. Oh, wow. it is some kind of vegetable I like. Strong celery taste. Not overpowering one though. And then the, the, the meat, which I presume is gonna be some kind of meat. You know, going on, going on with this right here. These beans. Oh man. Mmm. Mongo beans. Who knew? Man, that's good. Filipino food. That's good. And now I ain't capping. I told them. I told them when I was in there. And I said, Yo, help, help me. I don't know what none of this stuff is or what to call it. I want to just say this is pork or this is I think this is beef or chicken I want to know what these dishes are called because I'm doing the video and I want the people to know what kind of food y'all got they were very nice help me help me pick out you know the different things what they thought of a lot they even let me taste some in advance before I paid that's before I even told them I was doing a video you know they were just very nice and very courteous food man I can tell it was cooked with love because I'm loving every bite of it man it tastes phenomenal but guess what they gave me a dessert on the house just for this video. So I'm gonna taste this dessert and we're gonna see what that dessert is heading on. And then we're gonna wrap this thing on up and I'm gonna let y'all get back to y'all busy, wonderful lives, all right? So check this out. This is the rice, and I'm so sorry. I forgot the name they used. They, they, they said like several times. But basically what it is, is you know, you got some sesame seeds, like roasted sesame seeds. This little pool of sugar right here, a little cup of sugar. And then the rice and that, I, I guess uh, coconut shavings. You know, shaved coconuts. You're gonna take that rice, I mean, that, that sugar, pour that thing all up in there, and it's gonna be like a sweet little dessert type situation. So, that's what we gonna do. And I'm gonna let you know what it's hitting on, all right? Why oh, it smell like the outside farted? I don't know, like, I, I don't know if a truck passed by or something. But yeah, it smell like the outside somewhere farted or something, I don't know. Y'all ever, ever been driving around, y'all drive, drive by a factory or something like that, and it just smell like, ooh, somebody farted. You know, like, who, who, who bought it? Yeah, it ain't this, though. Just, 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 just let y'all know, it ain't this. There's nothing there's nothing messed up coming up. Yeah, this is, yeah. But outside, it's next to my father, I don't know. Yeah, ooh, yeah, ooh. You got to smell the roasted sesame seeds, the 
coconut, the coconut um, rice. Yeah, I believe that's what it is. Okay, this is like coconut rice, coconut shavings, okay? And basically, you just take the sugar, sesame seeds, just mix it up. I'm having trouble doing that on camera, so let me go ahead and get some elbow grease into it. Eh. Ooh. Mmm. Yeah. Okay. And let's take a big spoonful of this dessert. I'm just gonna call it dessert rice, even though from there's no actual rice in here. It seems like it's just coconut. It's basically just coconut, roasted um sesame seeds, and sugar. A whole bunch of white sugar. Without further ado. You see that? Yeah. Let's taste. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. There's something real gelatinous, like it's the you know squishy you know, portion. The kid keep it in the gutter. Mmm. Once you put the sugar in, it makes everything sweet. Nothing is sweet by itself. But with the sugar, the coconut shavings, and then the, the, the base, and the roasted, uh, roasted sesame seeds. And actually, it's not something I'm used to in front of terms of dessert, but it's very creative, it's good. I can see how this could become uh, a dessert in, you know, in uh, the Philippines. I can, I, can, I can see what I was going with it. I like it. I like it. Like I said, it takes some getting used to because I'm not used to the, the, um, the profile, but it works. Coconut with the roasted sesame, then all that sugar. Oh, come on, now, fam. It's good. Hey, fam. Look, it's 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 it's, it's without question. This place is definitely popping in these streets, fam. Oh my goodness. I'm talking about from the chicken to the different porks to the dessert. I they didn't have any um, special like drinks or whatever. Like I was sort of fountain drinks from what I saw. I can I can acquire next time, but I don't think I saw any um, like Filipino drinks or whatever that, that I would try to be anything different. But the food was good. The garlic rice was good. The um, pork menudo, pork estabado, the chicken adobo, freaking amazing. The sisig, oh man, and then the mango beans. Yo, fam, trust me, it's it's definitely a place. If you drive by, if you're not Filipino and you're driving by and you see the sign, you gonna breeze right past it, fam. No, you need to go ahead and back on or and bust a little U-turn on 1960. Go and bust a little U-turn and, and, and put instead of going into like little uh, Great China, go ahead and check out some Filipino food, fam. I'm telling you, man, I'm, I'm telling you, it's worth your time. It's worth your time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you wouldn't think to. Because again, you don't really hear about Filipino food, but fam, it's delicious. It's delicious. But look, man, I'm not going to over talk you. Y'all got places to go. Y'all got things to do, people to see. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to uh, hold you too much longer. Hey, thank you for checking out the video. Uh, subscriber, I don't know if that's your actual name, but thank you for recommending this video, recommending me find a Filipino spot. I found one, and I was pleasantly surprised. Like, it's totally, totally transformed my opinion based off of what I previously assumed from Jollibee. Because Jollibee is more like a fast food commercial thing. But yo, y'all throwing down these authentic kitchens, man. Hey, y'all better check them out. But look, um, again, subscribe to the channel. Like this video if you liked it. If you actually liked it, like it. And stay tuned for more, more to come because there's definitely more to come, all right? Anyway, I love y'all. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, peace!